Welcome to the channel, my name is Softbreaker. The Unholy Alliance update is here, and with this update, not only did it add co-op to the game, but a whole bunch of other things, like building, some decor, some light lore, and a new fleece. And I also called its effect, by the way. Let's go me. With everything new that was added, I thought it'd be best making a video talking about everything new and the Unholy Alliance update. Let's get into it. Let's get the biggest one out the way. Local co-op has been added to the game. This allows one of your friends to play as the GOAT. They can pretty much do everything you can. Note that I said local co-op. You sadly can't do online with a friend on consoles, but you do technically have the option on Steam. You can do remote play, which is a roundabout way of doing it. But hey, I guess you can call it online play. Also, if you're like me and you don't have a friend to play with and you want to play as the GOAT, you can also get the goat fleece in the temple at the cost of sin. You would be able to get this fleece after enabling co-op mode once or by unlocking something else which we're going to talk about in a bit. However, with the addition of local co-op, we also get buildings. Specifically, two new buildings have joined our blue map. These are the nursery and the knuckle bones table. And yeah, I'm gonna bring up how I didn't notice the table was knuckle bones in the trailer. And uh, yeah, it just goes to show that I played it for one day and never again. Whoops. With this knuckle bones table, you can versus your followers or your friend, which is a nice way to play knuckle bones. And on God, I will play some more knuckle bones. The nursery will house your baby followers and it will allow three of them at a time to raise. Though, do keep in mind that the closer the kids are to growing up, the nurseries will not hold them. Luckily, when they do get older, they will eventually leave the nursery and walk up to you like normal. This update added a lot of traits to followers and giving them more personality than ever before. Honestly, if it didn't have the co-op, I feel like this would be more of a personality update. But some of these traits are self-explanatory, but some are a bit more interesting. I'll quickly go through them and a little bit of my thoughts. Poet never works or talks to other followers and will go to the edge of the base to write poetry. I do the writing here, so kill them please. Unlawful has a small chance to break out of prison and can break other followers out of prison. If I found out who did it, they're next. Snore, insomniac, works at the night, sleeps in the day, dead ass me. Inspired by the mission, will have a positive conversations with other followers. Excited for the mission, will have a higher mating chance after a mission. A little freaky, not gonna lie. Disturbed by the mission, will behave as a Catholic follower and healing them will remove that. Polyamorous, can't get other wedding related traits when getting married. Petable, can be pet regardless of their skin. Amen, cults of the lamb. Spy, followers may join the cult by themselves and will behave as any other. However, they will leave and will take 10% of the cult's gold after five days. Kill them on sight. Reform criminal, 10% more productive. Scared criminal, act like a coward. Hardened criminal, act like a jerk to other followers. Happily married, 20% more productive. Unhappily married, 20% less productive. Jealous spouse, will keep fighting other spouses until they kill them. Ooh, I married a good one. Murder spouse, will attack other spouses until they kill them, and they would always win the fight. Ooh, I married a crazy one. I knew I picked the right one. Cursed, will not work and have limited interactions and will also eat other followers. Motherfucker brought a zombie to the cult. Run! Proud parent, will have unique thoughts about their child and are able to hug them regardless of their age. Overwhelmed parent, will have unique thoughts about their child and will look exhausted and have more negative conversations. Catatonic, followers of this trait cannot perform any task and will have limited interactions. So yeah, a lot of traits and a lot of hefty and negative ones, which is honestly really, really good. Hopefully this can make it so you can think twice of letting a follower in the call or deciding what to do with them once they're in. Finally, we get some new fleeces in the game that I can stick my teeth into. The three new fleeces that are the goat fleece, which allows you to play the goat in single player, the cowboy fleece, which lets you get the blunder bliss guns during a crusade, finally the transmog system, which lets you get the effect of one fleece while wearing another. These are some great additions to the game and I'm happy to get some since it allows for some variety in some runs. For relics and tear off cards, we have some new ones and some that are only available in co-op mode. It seems that we have more relics than tarot cards, but 
We also have corrupted versions as well. These corrupted versions have great powers, however they come with a trade-off, meaning that not every card you just want to pick up. There are 8 of these corrupted relics and 9 of these corrupted Terra cards. We also get 5 relics and cards, which I might save for a different video once I get a friend. For miscellaneous content, we have a new accessibility mode, Force Weapon Mode. This makes it so you can choose a weapon type to spawn at all times. No need for these mods anymore. The Bishop questline has been updated, giving us some more lore about the characters. From what I was able to find, this might be the final quest for the Bishop, so keep that in mind and, not gonna lie, this is a nice ending for the Bishops. Especially since we get to have the choice of healing their wounds. All four dungeons have been populated with a bunch of new encounters, so when you go into a crusade, expect it to be a little bit more interesting this time around. In addition to this DLC dropping, you're also going to have the Pilgrim Pack DLC. This DLC pack is similar to the other ones to where they bring some more followers, fleece outfits, two follower outfits, and some decorations. However, this time around, they give you a digital comic about Jalala and Rhino. This comic is animated, or you can just read it like a normal comic. And speaking of comics, not only will I be talking about the Cult of the Lamb graphic novel sooner or later, this DLC will also have a new questline based on these comics. And you'll even get a bonus comic once you complete the questline. Uh, let's see, other than being able to mate with your co-op partner, that's everything new in the Unholy Alliance update. Soon I plan on making a video on the Bishop's questline and other content in the game, but that will be a future video. Remember to like and subscribe to join the cult, and until then, I'll see you guys next time.